Phantom 2015 film. This video compresses information gathered from Wikipedia in video format. Studies prove that reading while listening improves comprehension, increases speed as well as expands vocabulary and enhances fluency. Video sections, abstract, plot, production, marketing, soundtrack, release, external links. Give your feedback on the comments section. Support the channel by subscribing and liking the video. Thanks. Abstract. Phantom is a 2015 Indian Hindi language action thriller film directed by Kabir Khan. Produced by Sajid Nadi Adwala and Siddharth Roy Kapoor. And starring Saif Ali Khan and Katrina Kaif in leading roles. The screenplay of the film was written in coordination with author Hussein Zaidi's book Mumbai. Avengers on the aftermath of 2611's Mumbai attacks. The film was released worldwide on 28 August 2015 to mixed reviews. Plot The movie begins with a car chase in Chicago, which leads to a scuffle between a man, ostensibly, named Jude Rosario, Saif Ali Khan, and an American male known as Matthew Brody. The scuffle ends with Brody falling into the icy waters of Chicago River, and his body missing. This results in Rosario being arrested and convicted for murder. A flashback of six months ago shows the office of the Indian Raw Chief Roy Sabiasachi Chakrabarti, where he and his trusted men, Rajesh Tiling and Muhammad Zishan Ayyub, plan a daring covet operation. The man, known as Jude Rosario in the opening sequence, is shown to be Captain Danny Al Khan. A dead-end ex-soldier with a completely deadpan sense of life and death who is pulled out of oblivion and pressed into service by the spy agency to wreak vengeance on the men who planned their 26-11th Mumbai terror attacks. He agrees on the assurance that he will be reinstated in the Indian Army to the same rank from which he was court-martialed, which meant regaining the respect of his estranged father, R.E.T.D. Cole. Basman Khan, a mentor, Dilly War Singh, his only team member, Nawaz Mystery, Katrina Kaif, helps him find his first target Sajid Mir, Mir Sawa, at a cricket match in London. On reaffirming his identity after breaking into his apartment, Danielle rigs up an explosion which kills Sajid, which makes the headlines explaining it was accidental, resulting in an investigation by the Pakistani ISI. In present day, Daniel aka Jude has landed in the same jail as David Headley. J. Brandon Hill, his next target, he contacts Nawaz in order to acquire money to buy a battery as a replacement of another one which holds a certain poison. The poison, succinylpoline, is untraceable as it can kill a person when it touches the tongue, causing a heart attack. After killing Headley by plugging the poisonous battery into a shower head he usually uses, Brody, who supposedly died upon falling in the river, is found alive and Danielle is released as his earlier sentence is rendered null and void. Meanwhile, ISI agents gather information about High Monsieur, Danielle and Nawaz, through Syria, go to Pakistan to take down the last two perpetrators, Sahabud and Umvi and Haris Saeed. Shah Nawaz Pradhan, there, they make plans of killing Saeed with the help of a local restaurant owner and raw agent Khalid Midit Khan, by an explosive planted in the mic used during his public rally. However, their plan fails, leading Daniel to pursue Saeed in a car and shoot him dead, also causing an explosion. Umvi is killed with the help of a nurse Amina by Sahela Kapoor a mother who lost her militant son in a suicide attack, who replaces his regular medicine with poison, later shooting herself after the police find her at her home, with the Pakistani army and ISI pursuing them. Daniel and Nawaz make their way to the coast to escape through the Arabian Sea. Their accomplices get caught and interrogated for information or be killed, while they are escaping on a boat. The Pakistani military finds out about it and sends patrol boats to apprehend the monsieur while hiding in the waters with Nawaz. Daniel gets shot by the military and dies.
Nawaz later gets rescued by the Indian Navy. After they leave, later, she goes to the Taj Hotel and has two cups of tea, fulfilling a promise earlier made to Danielle. Production Kabir Khan and author S. Hussein Zaidi have come together to collaborate on Kabir's then untitled film. Based on the scenario post 26 11th Mumbai attacks with Saif Ali Khan and Katrina Kaif signed in. Leading roles. The screenplay of the film is an adaptation and is co written in conjunction with Hassan's then unreleased book. The film earlier had a working title as Danielle Khan. Before being titled Phantom Monsieur Saif Ali Khan and Kaif have reportedly learnt Kurdish and Arabic for their roles. The plot of the film weaves a fictional story to kill the perpetrators of 2008 Mumbai attacks. Sajid Mir, David Coleman Headley, Zakir Iram and Latvi, named as Sabahud and Umvi, and Hafi Saeed, named as Haris Saeed. The film also depicts incidents similar to the assassination of Mahmoud al Mabho and Boston. Marathon bombing. Kashmiri Sufi singer Kazi Tukia featured in the Afghan Jalebi song. Filming began on October 2013 in Beirut, Lebanon. Around 10% of the film was shot in Lebanon in areas including downtown Beirut, the populous area of Kandak al Jamik, and the mountainous areas of Kf Ardabian, with the latter two representing Syria. The shoot of the film required a recreation of a Syrian refugee camp, which involved almost 400 locals to act as rebel militias. The sets of the film were so realistic that many people in the area believed actual militia groups had set up camp, and the Lebanese army began circling planes over the set. However the confusion was cleared after the first day. Due to the country's recent political turmoil, security was provided to the crew. In January 2014, action sequences were shot in Kashmir near Pahalgam Hill Station and in a ski resort in Gulmargfa. Five days. The scenes involved a blast sequence in the peak of winter, when the entire valley was covered in a 10-foot blanket of snow. In March 2014, filming continued in a small town in Malakotla, Punjab where the area was recreated to resemble a Pakistani marketplace. The entire area was dressed up to look authentic, complete with Urdu hoarding, posters and flags. The makers narrowed down Malakotla due to its mosque, local people, narrow lanes and overall architecture, which creates the verisimilitude of a town from Pakistan. In July 2014, filming resumed in London, United Kingdom near the Houses of Parliament on the banks of River Thames, Charing Cross Station, the Oval Cricket Ground in Lambeth and Ealing Road in Wembley. The next shooting schedule was done in various locations in Vancouver, Canada in August 2014 including the centre of West Hastings and Thurlow Streets which involved several high-octane chase sequences. In September 2014, the last schedule of the film was completed in Mumbai, with scenes being shot at the city's eastern ferry wharf, near the Gateway of India, and at Filmiston Studios in the suburb of Garegaon. An underwater action sequence has been shot by Saif Ali Khan and Katrina Kaif at the Orca Dive Club in Mumbai. Marketing The trailer of the film was released online on 25 July 2015. A launch event was held on the same day with the presence of Kabir Khan, Sajid Nadi Adwala, Saif Ali Khan and Katrina Kaif. A promotional song titled, Afghan Jalebi. Ya Baba, was released on 30 July 2015. The video was choreographed by Ahmed Khan. Other promotional songs, Sawair, was released on 13 August 2015 and Nakda, on 25 August 2015. The world premiere of the film was scheduled on the closing night of the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne on 27 August 2015. Saif and Keith have also promoted the film on several Indian reality television shows including Dance Plus, Jalak Dikla JAA Reloaded and Indian Idol Junior. On 23 August 2015, they made an appearance at the 2015 Pro Kabaddi League Final Soundtrack. 
The songs featured in the film were composed by Pritam, while lyrics are by Amitabh Bhattacharya and Kaus Armunia. The music rights were acquired by T-Series. Bizasia gave a rating of 7 out of 10 stating Pritam does a good job on bringing the flavors of Western Pakistan home to Bollywood fitting perfectly with the theme of the film. Particularly praising Afghan Jalebi. Bollywood Hangama rated the soundtrack 3 out of 5 calling it the surprise of the season. The Times of India and Coimoyal also gave a rating of 3 out of 5 to the soundtrack. Release Phantom was released on 28 August 2015 in 2,600 screens in India. It was banned in Pakistan following petition by Hafi Saeed. Lahore High Court banned the film this year. Meena Iyer of the Times of India gave Phantom 3.5 stars, calling it an oversimplified but patriotic thriller. Bollywood Hangama gave the film 3.5 stars calling Khan's performance focused. Clinical and precise, as the role demands while stating that Kaif is able support while performing action scenes. It also praised the background score. Rajiv Masandavibhan Live gave it two stars calling it slow-paced, boring and a wishful film and fantasy. Shuva Shetty Sahar of Midday gave it three stars stating the powerful story is diluted by the use of too many cinematic liberties and a rather lazy screenplay. Flaws aside, it talks of a real concern facing all of us, even while taking a flight of fantasy. Shweta Kaushal of Hindustan Times gave it 2.5 stars calling Khan and Kaif's performances pedestrian, but calling the work of Sahela Kapoor, Muhammad Ishan Ayyub and Sabir Sachi Chakraborty power-packed. Phantom grossed 8.46 crore, 1.2 million United States dollars. On its first day, on the second day it grew approximately 50% reaching a total of 21.24 crore, 3 million United States dollars. By the end of the first weekend, the receipts were 33.75 crore, 4.7 million United States dollars. Net, Phantom had a decent Monday as it grossed 4.25 crore, 600,000 United States dollars. The film grossed 3.50 crore, 490,000 United States dollars. On its first Tuesday, on its sixth day, it collected 3.31 crore, 460,000 United States dollars. The first week domestic collection of the film stands at 47.40 crore, 6.6 million United States dollars. Phantom grossed 93 lakh. 130,000 United States dollars. On its eighth day, its first week overseas collection was 10.97 crore, 1.5 million United States dollars. By the end of second weekend, Phantom grossed 1.75 crore, 250,000 United States dollars. In UK Ireland, 37.32 lakh, 52,000 United States dollars. In Australia, 12.01 lakh, 17,000 United States dollars. In New Zealand, 